Hey everybody, welcome to another class. Okay, so now what are we going to do? Do you know? I know. What we're going to do is we're going to work on um, the BBC. We're going to go to the BBC news to find out what is happening, what is the latest. We're going to do some reading and then also too I'm going to explain some vocabulary to you, okay? So we can talk about the different vocabulary words so you can get an understanding for that. All right. I see a few people have reservations. If you want to know about how to get reservations, just take a look here. Link, okay? Let me to the students. Hello, welcome back, Juan. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good as usual. Good as usual. So, and looks like looks like Conrad has a subject here. Wow! Somebody bit another player of the uh, another team. Um, yeah, I don't know um, about that. I was just looking. I was just looking at uh, his choice of topics. So <laughs> okay. hopefully, hopefully we can get to something. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we can we can we can read that as well. It's still news. Hello, Andy uh, Toots. Andy Toots, MT. Hello, Andy. All right, no Andy. Hello, Pato. Hello. Hello. Am I am I pronouncing your name properly? Is it Pato? Yeah, it's actually it's a nickname. It's not a my real name. Hmm. How'd you how'd you end up with the name Pato as a nickname? It's a uh, shortcut for for Patrick. Oh, really? Oh, okay, good. Yeah. Good, good, good. Yep, very good. Because okay. pato means that. Because pato means what? Duck. Oh, duck? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so it means duck? So they gave you the nickname duck? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> You know, when I was a kid, my um, my mom said that my grandfather used to say that I sounded like a duck because my voice when I was talking, <laughs> yeah, and you can tell, I mean, I have a very monotone voice, so for some reason when I um, first came out uh, speaking or first started speaking, it was a um, very, very monotone, or not very monotone, but sound like a duck, you know, it turned into being monotone, okay? Okay, I see some familiar faces here. Hello, Adriana. Hi, Brad. Hello. Hello, Adela. Hello, Shanina. Hello. That Is that right, right? Shanina? Yes. Okay, yes. good, good. I got it right. And hello, Conrad. Welcome back, Conrad. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. You know, here, let me let me get a little taller here. Otherwise, <laughs> would that freak you out if I did class like this? Yeah. <laughs> just yeah. Like, what is that? <laughs> Do it. I'm just kidding around. I don't know, I'm just I'm just being absolutely stupid right now. I have no idea no. why. Okay. Let's get serious. Okay. Let's get to a serious topic. So what what we're looking at or what we're going to go over is um, the BBC. Okay. So we're going to find news articles on the BBC. So everybody, please be searching on the BBC for some news that you would like to discuss. I want you to choose an article. I might I might choose one as well, but I'd like for you guys to choose an article. So the BBC, you can see different things in here, and I don't know, maybe this Syria game, chemical arms, game changer, you know, who knows, all right? Everybody, everybody's blowing each other up these days, huh? Hello, Adela. Hi, Brett. Hey, I see you've changed your picture. Where, where's that at, Adela? Where's your, where's your picture from? Yes, it's in Perine Mountain. It's in where? Pirine Mountains in 
uh, the border in Spanish uh, with France. Mm, okay, the border of uh, of Spain and France. Okay, border of Spain and France. Okay, so good, good, good. Okay, let's uh, let's see, guys. So, has anybody chosen an article yet? Is there anything on the BBC that's like, oh my gosh, I really got to talk about it? Anyone? Oh come on! Somebody choose something, you know. I know. Okay, I if you some... yeah, if you don't choose something, I'm gonna make us read about George Jones dying. Okay, <laughs> so you guys will just be really bored, like what? Oh no. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, so I'm just threatening you. Okay, I'm gonna make you. I'm gonna make you read about a um, a country western western singer dying. So. Okay, here we go. Who's the first to read? <laughs> but he did. He did have a good song. Um, it's uh, it goes. Uh, anyway, I can't sing, but it is pretty cool. He goes, uh, friend, don't take her. She's all I got. Okay, because somebody's trying to steal his woman away. So anyway, that's a country music song. So okay, so really, guys, do you want to talk about Syria here with the? Uh, with the arms, what do you guys want to talk about? Come on, somebody, anybody, please, anybody, just tell me. Interesting. Which one do you want to talk about, Conrad? Syria. Are you from? You are, are you from the United States? I'm from the United States, but I've been living overseas for almost ten years. So, okay. although I I love the fact that I'm from the U.S., I don't always think that everything they do is is in the best interest of everybody in the world. No. Mm, I can't. I can't hear you. What's uh? What's that? Good, Conrad. Hey, I am watching on TV. Any of uh, news about that topics, especially from BBC? It's 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 quite interesting to me to to talk about that kind of things. Okay. Yeah, we'll we'll cover this one. And guys, if you have anything else you want to cover, please let me know. Okay. So, Amir, hi, Amir. Okay. Okay, guys, remember, if you're in class, you have to participate. Okay. I, I'm going to start right to left. Shanina, can you do me a favor? Can you start to read yeah. here? And I'm going to make a little bit bigger. Okay, I'll make it a little bit bigger. Okay. I was looking By the for way, some... For the news. Yeah, it's okay. We'll, um, we'll, we'll read this one. We'll read this one for now. So, Shanina, do you know what a game changer is? What's a game changer? Can you read? Can you write it? Um, actually, just uh, make sure you have Brett Tudor clicked. Okay, and it's right on there. Okay. It's okay. Shanina. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, by the way, Shanina, do you have do you have your headset and everything properly selected? Yes, I do. Okay. Can okay. you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Just a little bit of little bit of echo, but I don't know where it's coming from. It's okay, Shanina. Can you see the screen? Yes, I can. Okay. So here is Game Changer. Game Changer. Ah, oh, sorry. It's okay. okay. It's all right. So, do you know what a game changer is? Yep. Like um, a situation in which uh, the rules of certain uh, well situation uh, change. Um. Yeah, it's okay. I'll, I'll explain in a second. And Shanina, just okay. double, yes. just double check one thing, okay? I'm going to show you something, okay? Just double check, make sure that everything's selected properly, okay? If you if you don't mind, just because there's a little bit of an echo for some reason, and it's usually like if your uh, headset isn't selected, it's okay, Shanina. Okay. Are you um are you ready to start reading here? Oh, by the way, so a game changer, a game changer. What a game changer is is this is a metaphor, right? Okay. So like when you're playing sports, if for some reason there's one thing that happens in sports, it's a game changer. So let's see um 
was it who, who's the who's the famous soccer player? I think from Argentina, Messi, right? That's playing. Uh, he's playing. Okay. Yeah. So a game changer would be if Messi broke his leg. Okay, that would be a game changer because it would change everything drastically. Okay. Um, go ahead, Conrad. It's a no planning situation. It's a suddenly, what's? Suddenly yes. Happened. Yes, a sudden sudden event, right? And also to you, what it does is it really changes everything that's going on, right? It's something that's sudden and it's also dramatic, all right? Something dramatic, and it changes things all together. So, for instance, with this, this game changer here means that now the way that we look at Siri, if they have been using chemical weapons, really changes things, okay? Because chemical weapons are a no-no, all right? Okay? So go ahead, Shanina. Can you start reading here, U.S. President um, Barack Obama? Can you read that, please? Okay. Um, Mr. Obama said that however horrific conventional arms are, chemical weapons would cross another line. U.S. President Barack Obama has filed a vigorous investigation into reports that Syria has used chemical weapons, warning the warning they will be a game changer for U.S. policy if proven true. Both the U.S. and U.K. have pointed to emerging evidence that Syria has used weapons such as the nerve gas sarin. U.K. Prime Minister David Cameron earlier told the BBC it appeared that war crime was being committed by Syria. Syrian officials have denounced the allegations as lies. According to the, to the UN, at least 70,000 people have, killed, have been killed in the two-year uprising, uprising against Syrian President Bashar al-Assad. Holy right. Toledo! 70,000 people? Cool. It's, it's crazy. Wow. Wow, that many people have died, you know? Wow, that's so sad, you know? And now, now they're saying that there's chemical weapons. Can somebody tell me what chemical weapons are? Um, are they are weapons created by gas or any anything anything like that? Mm -hmm. uh, it's 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 a massive it's a massive weapons. Is is. Yep. Yep. So, and a lot of the chemical weapons they release to the air, right? They try yeah. to release them in the air, so that people, um, so that people, yeah. uh, you know, breathe them in and die. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Many people, for example, in the television here in UK, many people has died. Yeah. Hey, um. Hey, Pato, listen, Pato, I, I, know, I know you can't hear it, but you could go back and watch this viewing. For some reason, stay muted because every once in a while there's a loud sound like, okay? So when you're ready to talk, just unmute yourself. So, um, so, so yeah, like you're saying, Conrad, there's yeah. a lot of stuff on the news about this. Yeah, for example, here in UK, the BBC, BBC, BBC has, sh has showed many, many comparisons of the chemical weapon effects over the population. Because we see compare the, the effects in Japan, in Afghanistan, um, it's, it's really crazy to appreciate how the people ending after a chemical weapon attacked. Mm -hmm. Yep. So they, they've shown and they've been showing, right? Yeah. Is what you want to say? They, they, they've shown and they've been showing? Mm -hmm. sure. Okay. Yep. And uh, any anybody else? Does anybody think chemical weapons are a good thing? No, it's not a good thing. You torture and use the film film to uh, destroy body, human body. Mhm. Mm so yeah, yeah. So so chemical weapons are not a good thing, right? Mustard gas, other things like that. Yes. Yep. Very very horrible. Right. Very horrible. Anybody else? If, any, uh, any thoughts on this? Good, Juan. If you want 
if you want to survive, at least you have to use a mask. But I think that there are not uh, enough masks for the entire country. Yeah, there, there's not enough. They would say there's not enough masks to go around, is what you'd say. Yeah. To go around, like, like you know, maybe if you're at a buffet eating food, you'd say, wow, there's not enough food to go around if maybe they're running out of food. So there's not enough masks to go around. Mm -hmm. So evidence. So I get your evidence. So what they're looking for is they're looking for evidence. They want to have something that shows that, yes, they have been using chemical weapons. Evidence is used to prove something, right? Okay. So that's what they're trying to do. Any, anybody else? Any other questions here about any vocabulary? We know that an investigation, you find evidence when you investigate something, okay? You're looking for evidence when you perform an investigation. So they're I'm investigating. Uh, vigorous. Oh, vigorous. 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 So that's, yeah, so that's really tough, okay? Like fierce, fierce. Usually, usually, usually people that, um, yeah, fierce. Fierce, that's vigorous. I was going to say people in Chinese dialect, you guys know fierce very well, right? So it's a very fierce or vigorous investigation, okay? They're really going at it. They're trying as hard as they can, okay? Okay, so let's go on here. Okay, so we'll continue on. So the next person is going to be Pato. Pato, can you read this? Not airtight. Okay, I will try. Not airtight. Mr. Obama was speaking as he met King Abdullah II of Jordan at the White House. The US, US president said there was some evidence that chemical weapons have been used on the population in Syria. These are, these are preliminary assessments. They are based on our intelligence gathering. We have varying degrees of confidence about the actual use. There's a range of questions about how, when, where these weapons have been used, he said. Mr. Obama insisted more evidence was still needed and that there will be a vigorous investigation. Okay, so let's stop right there. Okay, so, so yeah, so he's, um, so they say there's some, some evidence. So airtight, does anybody know what airtight means? Can somebody tell me airtight? No fresh air? Well, so like here's an airtight container, right? Okay. So, yeah, no no air can get in, no air can get out, right? So it's airtight. So when we refer to something as being airtight, we mean that it's 100%, okay? All right? So the evidence is not airtight. It's not 100%. We don't know 100% for sure. They're still searching for more evidence, okay? So these are preliminary assessments, okay? So the first ones they have right now, preliminary, until they continue to investigate, all right? And then they have varying degrees of confidence, okay? So some people think yes, for sure they do. Some people maybe, some people maybe not, okay? All right? Okay, so... All right, so let's continue on here. So, um, Conrad, can you read here? But proof of their use would be a game changer. Okay. But proof of their use would be a game changer. He said, a horrific has hit when most mortars have been fired on civil civilians and people are being indiscriminately killed. To use potential weapons of mass destruction on civilian population cross another line with respect to the international norms and international law. All of us, not just the United States, but around the world, have not recognized how we cannot stand by and permit 
the systematic use of the weapons, like chemical weapons on civilian population, he said. White House spokesman Yates Kenny ins insists there, there are no was no timeline on how long it would take to correlate the evidence on the use of chemical weapons and admit that the case was not aid, aid tried. Airtight, yep, so airtight, airtight. So wow, this is great. Looks like the U.S. has another war, huh? It looks, it looks like the U.S. is preparing for another war. Who are we going to next? You know, So things were calming down in Iraq. But guys, by the way, I'm being sarcastic, okay? I'm being completely sarcastic, all right? <laughs> I don't think it's great at all. But really, so, so doesn't anybody find this kind of odd, though? I mean, you know the Arab Spring, right? You guys know what the Arab Spring is? So it's this uprising that's been going on in many of these countries, okay? So, spring, these, these uprisings that's been happening, right? So all these countries that are saying enough, you know, and they're rising up, okay? So a lot of this has been driven, though, on Facebook, you know, and also Twitter, right? So a lot of this has been on Facebook and Twitter. It's been like the, well... I want to say the first media, um, you know, the first time they use social media. But don't you? Doesn't anybody think that maybe by now, if there would have been chemical weapons being used, don't you think we would have heard about it on Twitter or Facebook? Do you know what I'm saying? I mean, <laughs> anyway, um, I, I just find it kind of odd. I would think I would think that somebody would have tweeted from Syria. Oh my God! They're using chemical weapons, right? You know, does that does that make sense? So I'm trying to figure out, you know, like how with all this information that's coming in, like why in the world we've never heard about this before? You know, two years later, and now all of a sudden, oh. And anyway, I'm I'm being very cynical about this, but also too, it, that is that is a um, I think it's still a very intelligent question. Like, why have we never seen any of this on Facebook or Twitter? Maybe maybe we do. Why, why doesn't the government look towards that? Why doesn't the U.S. government just look at Twitter accounts from there? People that are there are watching all this happen. You know? Anyway. Um, and any thoughts on this? Any thoughts, you know, about this airtight evidence? Any questions about the vocabulary? Oh, God, don't be so shy. It's okay. All right. What about you, Adriana? You look like you want to say something. What about you? What do you What do you think about this going and investing? I have a, a question. It's about a word. Mm -hmm. um, uh, uprising. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, wh so what? What does it mean? Okay. So you know, I, I don't know if you know this or not, but one of my favorite people, I, Adriana, is Zapata. Oh, I know. Mm -hmm. I know who he is. Yep, because he said, I would rather die on my feet than live on my knees. Live on, live on my knees, yeah. Yeah, which is one of... So he was part of an uprising, right? In Mexico. Like, it's like a, a revolution? Revolution, exactly. A revolution. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. So it's Thank an you. uprising. So it's when you're oppressed, okay? And all of a sudden there's an uprising against um, the government that's in there, okay? Um, yeah, civilian populations, okay? So they have to corroborate, okay? So they need to get all the evidence together and make sure that everything makes sense. Everything made sense, okay? All right, Let, let's, see, let's see what this smart guy Obama has to say. Okay. Come on, Obama. Oh, here we go. Let me see. Well, maybe he doesn't have anything to say. Here we go. Ah, the volume's not going to come in enough. So anyway, who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? Um, okay, so let's look back here. All right. Okay, so again, it's not airtight. It's not airtight. Hello, Tara. 
Hello. Hi, welcome to class, Tara. Thank you. You're welcome. Tara, can you start reading here? He said all options remained. Oh, okay. He said all options remained on the table. Mr. Obama had earlier said the use of chemical weapons by Syria would cross the red line. More direct actions action against Syria could include a no-fly zone and arming rebels. However, Western governments feared the weapon could fall into the hands of extremists while no... Wait. My okay. text went away. Okay. Here. While, no, while a no-fly zone would require nullifying Unifying yep, Syrian sure. air defenses, a major military operation. The Syrian government has dismissed claims that its forces have used chemical weapons. Information Minister Omran al Zubi quoted by the state news agency Sana said the Western Accusations do not have any credibility. Okay, good, good, good. So, so here, here's probably one of the main things. Okay, so accusations. It's when I accuse you of something, say that you did something wrong. So, like, I could accuse Adela. I think Adela stole my cookies. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You, you stole my cookies, Adela. I want my chocolate chip cookies back. So th those are accusations. That's one accusation I make against Adela. And um, Shanina, with her, I make accusations that I really say your name properly, but but it's said, but it's uh, supposed to be said some other way. Okay. So that's my accusations. But anyway, um, so they do not have any credibility. So credibility. So credibility, like when you listen to somebody and they lie all the time, they no longer have credibility. They're no longer credible. You don't believe them. When you know somebody who is always telling the truth, always honest, a good person, that person is credible. They have credibility. So basically, the information minister of, of this country, right, he's saying that, um, you know, None of these accusations are true. They don't have any credibility. No credibility. Okay. Um, All right. I have a question. Yep. Go ahead. What is the meaning of nullifying? Yeah. So nullifying. So, like, let's say, for example, um, oh, I'll just explain something uh, really simple. Okay. If you're watching football, aka soccer, right? Okay. And all of a sudden, somebody scores a goal. Well, if at the other team, let's say it's 1-0, if the other team comes back and scores a goal, all right, then you, you nullify the lead. The lead's no longer there because now it's 1-1, one one, all right? So that's when you nullify something. Where, where's nullifying here? I'm trying to, trying to figure this. Oh, nullifying, yeah. So in here, okay, well, a no-fly would, would require nullifying air, air yeah so what that means is um, they would no longer be able to fly anymore okay so the air defenses just wouldn't even be up there anymore okay okay so let's see anybody else or anything else no. I don't get the main idea uh, let's see the Syrian government has dismissed claims especially the words dismiss claims mm -hmm. yes so what it means so if you claim so a claim in this case is just like an accusation okay so again the Western so you think about the Western the Western is referring to the UK the US right okay we're the ones that right. are making accusations we're also making claims we claim that they have been using chemical weapons. So when you dismiss those claims, okay, you say no, 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 okay. no, they, they don't, they don't exist. It's um, these these lines are almost the same. This is almost the same when you look at it, because it just starts out here. The Syrian government has dismissed claims, all right, and then it just gives a direct quote from the information minister 
of Syria who says the accusations, the claims, do not have credibility, so he's dismissing them. Okay? Got it. Okay, and I might have over-explained that, but that's okay to over-explain. I'd rather over than under. Okay, so let's see here. Actually, um, yeah, you're next, Juan. Go ahead. Okay. Damascus fighting. Earlier, Mr. Cameron told the BBC's political editor, Nick Robinson, I choose my words carefully, but I what but what I see does very much like a war crime is being committed in our world at this time by the Syrian government. The Prime Minister addressed concerns about the quality of the UK's intelligence and fears that unreliable evidence evidence could again be used as a justification for the West to become involved in the Middle Eastern conflict. Okay, so stop but, one, can we stop one second? And you're doing a good job, okay? No, 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 it's fine, I'm going to have you keep reading one. I just think this is pretty important, huh? Right? So, so what do they mean by this? The UK's intelligence and fears, um, you know, that unreliable evidence could again be used as a justification for the West to become involved in a Middle East conflict. What other conflict in the Middle East happened because of unreliable evidence? So unreliable means that you know it's not airtight, it's not 100 percent. Can anybody like, name another war? Like the happened? Iraq. Iraq war. The American yep. have a war to the Iraq. Yep, yep, we, you know, we, we thought there was, um, we thought there was um, uh, weapons of mass destruction, right? WMD. Okay. That was the main thing, right? So, and here. Oh, your rooster's up, Pato. Hello, little rooster. No rooster. You know? It's probably probably good gyro, right, Eric? Probably some good chicken meat. <laughs> good gyro. Hey, uh, Pato, cook that chicken up. Fry it for us. So, hey, guys, pretty funny, huh? Look at this. So this is during the Iraq War. WIMDs in Iraq. Oh, my. <laughs> now this is now, right? So this is, again, the U.S. and the U.K., you know. ICBMs in Iran. Oh, no. Right? Pretty crazy, huh? I mean, come on, guys. I don't, I don't know. I just, I just don't believe in all this stuff. It's just, it's just hard to believe. This was the type of evidence. Remember, remember how they were saying all this? You know, there's so much evidence, right? That we have to go and we have to kill all these people. You know, I mean, how many innocent people died? Anyway, I'm no, I know I'm going on and on, but, um, but yeah, that's what they're scared of. They're scared again of having unreliable evidence. All right. And for me, I know it sounds kind of dumb, but I think if they were using chemical weapons, we would know about it on either, I know it sounds dumb, but either Twitter, Facebook, or something like that. People would have taken pictures. We would have seen it already. There's so much that's being, um, there's so much that's been opened up now that we have Twitter, Facebook, and everything else, right? You know? And, and Eric, Eric, yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know how much you know about what's going on or what happens in mainland China, but Eric, I lived in China for four years, okay? Yeah. I lived in mainland China for four years. And yeah, and the Chinese became really smart. What they did is, once there was something bad that was going on, what they would do is they would uh, take a different SIM card because the SIM cards are not traceable. Have your SIM card. So you know from your phone... Oh, your, your SIM, SIM card, yeah? Yes, yeah, so you have your SIM card in your phone. Yeah. And their SIM cards are not traceable. So what they would do if something bad was happening, they would switch out, slip that into their phone, and then they would start texting, hey, here's what's going on. And some of the people in the smaller provinces and so forth in China that were doing bad things to people, they could no longer do it because information travels fast. Yeah. Now. 
Okay, so that's why I just it's so hard for me to believe that we wouldn't have heard about this by now after <laughs> two years, after two <laughs> years, you know, yeah. anyway, so yeah. go ahead, go ahead, Juan, continue on. Okay. Um, but Mr. Cameron expressed concern that international action in Syria may be being held back because of fears of a repeat of the Iraq war. I do worry about that, he said. Let me absolutely clear. I think the Iraq lesson must be about how we marshal and use information and intelligence, and I think that lesson has been learned. Okay, but so I good. Think, okay. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. So, yeah, so Mr. Cameron, oh, no, no problem. We learned our lesson. Okay, so no, no problem. So what do you guys think? Do you think they learned their lesson? No. No? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't, I don't yes, think so either. Go ahead. Yeah. No, go ahead, Juan. No, Continue no. on. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Mm -hmm. Okay. I do worry about that. He said, "Let me." No, 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 no. I'm so sorry. No, 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 no. It's okay. I didn't know if you had a comment. No, you've already read this. Okay. So the lesson's been okay. learned, right? Mm -hmm. No problem. Yes. No problem. So, any comments on this, folks? Nope. Yeah. Um, analysis taken into account the past situation evidence. Whether analysis, um, yeah. So explain this in here. Um, so yeah. Okay. So wow. Who's that sound coming from, Andy? So, so yeah, Conrad. Um, let me explain this in here. So. Um, yeah, so what they're trying to say here is that they're going to make sure that they look at the evidence in a different way. They're not going to jump to conclusions as much as they did before. Right, Conrad? Okay. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I just I don't, I don't even understand how. It, it's, it's hard. I know I'm being very cynical. Okay, I hope I'm making sense. But it's just it's hard for me to understand how before they couldn't have you know, looked at everything um, under a microscope, as they say, right? To really look at things tightly to make sure they're making the right decision before going in and then invading a sovereign country. So I just don't understand why back, what, um, seven years ago, eight years ago, how they couldn't have done it then. And now they're saying, oh, no, we've learned our lesson. You know, we're going to be much better. Our analysis is going to be much better. It doesn't make to me. Yeah, yeah. For example, yeah. teacher, mm -hmm. here many people are are thinking that the main reason is to to get the oil. It's all because it's, it's incredible to believe that the United States is in the right because people think that it's unbearable evidence. It's, it's the evidence is not sufficient to justify any kind of invasion. Um, mm -hmm. it's, it's, what about the, that kind of power planet? What about Middle East? What happened with North Korea? North Korea, it's different. It's just, it's different, but in the background, at the background, it's the same situation. All the time, people are criticizing USA intention. People believe here, for example, United States is an imperialist country, and in this case, are trying to to get the oil for free yeah and there's um and it's, it's more yeah but there's more deep down um you know get the oil for free also too if they can put people in power in these middle eastern countries that listen to the united states that's another for, thing right uh, so for example, it's very at the last point teacher please my apologies it's very controversial, controversial the way that you are saying is handling the conflict because USA is trying to impose his values, democracy, freedom, um, cons consumist uh, Consumerism, consumerist, consumerism ideologies, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, I don't know. It's very confusing the situation, but the, the information in in it sometimes is handling with some particular interesting. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. And and by the way, look, I'm a <laughs> I'm the type of person you know that. Um, you know, I, I try to be open about things. Okay, so just from a, just because I'm from the U.S., I don't think that um, that uh, everything should be done the way the Americans do everything, right? Okay. In fact, I'm I'm really against heavy consumerism. I like capitalism, but I think consumerism, where people, you know, uh, so Dina has boo, <laughs> but um, but yeah, I, I don't I don't believe that you know. That we should go around and uh, trying to put in, you know, here's how things should be. Everything should be like at the U.S. Well, if everything was like the U.S., then we'd have a bunch of people that are walking around on medications for antidepressants all the time, right? Everybody would be eating fast food. Everybody would be obese. You know, you know what I'm saying though. I know I'm being extreme. So yeah, by all means, I don't think the U.S. has it perfect. Uh, look at Bolivia. So Bolivia is pretty much 100% against the U.S. because of the way that some of the U.S. policies have affected their country. They're against I, the... Um, th uh, go on. In that case, I suppose that the, 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 to use the word terrorists, terrorists is an important weapon to the United States because oh, they course. are using yeah. to condemn any action against its values, for example, in the case of the, the bombings in Boston, it's the same situation now the news are presenting, are introducing any any plane in Middle East as terrorists. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Got it. Got it. Oh, thanks for Khan. Huh. So okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna copy that real quick. Push that over. Okay. Yeah, but just just to let you know, Conrad, I try to be open-minded. Okay. All right. Um, you know, not all of us are the same. So let's let's finish up this article. Eric, can you read this here, Eric? But I think. Yes, here. Hmm? But I think it is it yes, is very okay. important. But I think it is very important for pol uh, politicians and the leaders of this generation to look at what is happening in Syria and ask ourselves what more we can do. Meanwhile, opposition activists and the Syrian state media report fierce fighting between government troops and the rebel in the number of suburbs of the capital. Damascus uh, activists report clashes is in the uh, uh, bars at a uh, district of northern uh, Damascus, Damascus Damascus saying that the army and the pro government uh, militant mi men had pushed into the area back by by tank tank fire Sena news agency said Troops had killed a number of rebels in the Jobar and the Zemarkar district of the capital. Okay, so we'll stop right there. So again, you know, um, they just want us to ask ourselves what more we can do. You know, what, what more can we do besides uh, just going in and, and raiding them? Um, yeah, and just this is about more stuff going. On. Uh, any other thoughts? Anybody want to uh, say anything about this article? Any questions? No? Okay, all right. What's the next one, guys? What were you guys thinking of? Anything? Um, what's our What's the, our next one here? The next one is a future invasion. Uh, what's that? The next The next step is the, the invasion. Oh yeah, no, the next step, no, I was talking about the next article, the next article that we can read, yeah. Maybe there's something cool going on in Latin America, let's see what's going on. Capriles vows to take vote to count, okay. Anybody? 
Okay, cancer threat to Latin America. Can we please see the uh, space super start? Um, where's that at? Where's that at? Is that on? Is that on the front? Yeah, in the uh, front page. Okay, and wh which one is it? Uh, space super star. Um, space. Uh, where? I'm sorry. Where is it at, though? Uh, pick do you, have, the do you have the link? Okay, so up here. So let's see here. I'm having a little bit of problem getting this to scroll. Okay. Um, I don't. I don't know where it is in here. Uh, okay, that's okay. Um, there's not there's not much left. Let's see here. Yeah, why don't why don't we read about this? The power of digital falsehood. You know, since we're all online right now, right? Okay. So we can look here. Okay, so here, let's um, make sure this link here. Make sure, guys, that you mute yourself when you're not speaking, just so we don't hear um. In the background, okay. Okay, so here, let's um, let's uh, let's continue on here. Okay, so um, you have to go for breakfast, Conrad. Okay, Conrad. It was it was a pleasure too, Conrad. Good good discussion. Okay, so let's see. Oh, it's my friend Adriana's time to read. Hello, Adriana. Would you read for me, please? La, a series of reasons? Yes, please. Okay, let me uh, change the window. A series of re recent hacks, lies and fake profiles, profiles calls into question the immediacy and reliability. Reli how, how do you say that? Reli reliability. Re reliability of social mm -hmm. media. Tom Chatfield. As Mark Twain once said, a lie can be halfway around the world before the truth has got its boots on. Or was was it Winston Churchill or James Callahan or Terry Pritchett? The mm -hmm. internet is undecided. It seems likely that all of the above were paraphrasing an old proverb, but Depending on where you search and who do you who do you ask, you can more or less pick pick your own truth. When it comes to current, I I stop. Uh, oh yeah, no, you're doing well. Go ahead. Please. Okay. When it comes to current affairs, the power of digital falsehood can count for a great deal. Earlier this month, a f false message posted by hackers. To, to the Twitter account of the Associated Press, which read breaking breaking to explode explosion in the White House and Barack Obama is injured. I read that tweet <laughs> by the way. You read that too, yeah. Yeah. Uh, temporarily uh, wi uh, wiped one wiped, one, mm -hmm. wiped uh, 150 points of down down Jones index and led to any F and led to an, an FBI investigation. In the appeal aftermath of the Boston Marathon bombings, rumors and conspiracies were almost impossible to avoid, ranging from allegations against an innocent Saudi witness to a digitally manipulated hoax clip from the cartoon series Family Guy. Okay, so good. Oh, Adela, Adela, can you hang around just a little longer, Adela? You're going to read next, Adela, if you have time. Oh, she's already gone. Bye-bye, Adela. I'm sorry, I go from, from right to left or left to right, sometimes upwards, sometimes backwards. I'm just kidding. Don't ever say that. So, uh, uh, Adriana, so good. So, yeah, the Associated Press. So, there was an AP Press uh, tweet, right? AP. Yeah. So, uh, what's what's the what's the tweet? Yeah, here. So here here's what happened. Okay, somebody hacked into the Associated Press. 
Okay, so the Associated Press, this is the one of the main press agencies. So somebody hacked into so when they hack into it, that means that they like they hack into your account, they control it. And they tweeted breaking two explosions in the White House and Barack Obama is injured. And because of that, the stock market um, ended up going up and down, okay, it ended up fluctuating. So what this article is talking about is the fact that because of things like this, who knows who knows what the truth is anymore, right? Because there's so many fake accounts with stuff. People can hack in other people's accounts. Also, too, uh, one of the problems is anybody can post information, right? Okay? Anybody can post information these days. So who knows how credible this information is okay all right that's one of the problems that we have these days too all right uh, any anything um, any questions here no okay so let's uh, let's continue on here so hello Aaron hello hi Aaron Aaron can you read here yet perhaps <laughs> Yet perhaps the most intriguing online untruth of recent weeks and the most telling indictment of rapid reaction social media habits was not a tweet or an attribution but an other person, San Diego Swallow. Okay, go ahead. Steve Jobs' fablet. Swallow's credentials put most professional tech gurus to shame. A TED and South by Southwest speaker is dotingly detailed Wikipedia page described him as a motivational speaker, consultant, educator, and author devoted to understanding modern culture in the age of social networking. Globally interconnected media, user generated content and the internet. He has a book coming out later this year and over 80,000 followers on Twitter hanging on his every gnomic word. The only problem is that he doesn't exist. Solo was created as an experiment by Kevin Ashton, a real technologist most famous until now, for coining the phrase the internet of things. In a piece for Quartz magazine called How to Become Internet Famous for $68. Ashton explained how it took him just two hours and less than $70 to breathe life into his brain child. <coughs> I generated his name on <coughs> Scrivener, a word processor for writers and other. I gave San Diego a Gmail account, which was enough to get him a Twitter account. Then I went to the web site fever.com the online equivalent of a dollar store and searched for people selling Twitter followers I bought San Diego 90,000 followers for $50 okay yep so good so good so yeah so this is a this is a fake account fake account right okay all right so yeah it's a fake account so what, what do you think about that 80,000 Twitter followers huh you know hello hello yes. hello yeah I don't hear okay no I was wondering if you still can hear me so what do you guys think about this huh this guy's a fake guy do you see that he has 80,000 followers on Twitter no comments I mean, Actually, what's the uh, point of it, having so many followers? Well, yeah, but what do you, what do you, what do you... I don't understand. Yeah. What's the no, point no, I, of that? Yeah, no, I know, I, know what you're, I know what you're saying, though. So what this means, though, is that, you know, he's able to go out and basically uh, get people to respect him. He became an authority, even though he's not a real person. doesn't exist. Because you know? he bought all those followers. No, no well, yeah, he bought he, he he bought some of those and so forth. But then other people see that he bought those. Okay, that he bought yeah, those. Yeah, that's fine. Right, or my 
I'm sorry, people see that he has those followers, okay, that he has all those followers, and then they start to follow after him, right? Okay? So he even wrote a, a piece in Quartz magazine on this, and how to become famous, internet famous for $68, okay? So it cost him $60 to live, in, to do that, yep. So yeah, so dauntingly, okay, so dauntingly, um, hmm, uh, it's kind of, how do I describe dauntingly, um, hmm, yeah, so I mean, I just want to say like in a, in a daunting matter, but it's kind of like, uh, like to go around something, right, okay, and so forth, right, so a dauntingly manner, right, and how he did this, okay, so you know, kind of go around it. Um, anybody else? Though we're not we're not going to have enough time here to to continue on because we have another class going on. But what do you guys think, though? I mean, isn't it kind of crazy? You don't know who is who. Like I don't know. I don't know if you're real. I don't know if your name is really Shanina Fernandez. Is that really your name? Yeah. No, so. How do I know? How do I know it's Shanina Fernandez? Mm -hmm. I only I only know you from the internet. Yeah. That's true, and you never know who yeah. you're talking to. But yep. I have my yep. camera on, so <laughs> you can. Well, see. yeah. I mean, I can see you, but is that your real name? I mean, do I have the power to look you up where you live, and to know for sure? Maybe your mm. maybe your name is Jennifer Lopez. Oh God, <laughs> why? <laughs> <laughs> that but, was cool. But really, though, yeah. But really. Oh, I was. It was not meant to be anything mean at all, you know. But this <laughs> I'm kidding. Interesting. This might be an interesting article, you know, to become internet famous without ever existing. I didn't like you the know? first article. That's why I didn't say much. Mm -hmm. It's okay. But but what do you, <laughs> what do you guys think about this? And by the way, I have to leave pretty soon. I mean, isn't it kind of scary that people can make up these fake personas on the internet? Well, you know, what about the catfish people? thing or something? So, say it again. And this catfish thing that is so in fashion right now. What's Those the people thing that's that in invent fashion? fake profiles. Oh yeah, you get a fake. You can actually get a fake girlfriend, right? You know, you can you can yeah, get on on Facebook. With fake photos and things. Yeah, so you can get a fake girlfriend on Facebook. Oh, I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah, you didn't know that. You can hire. Yeah, it's right here, I think. Right, or you can I hire. I can hire a boyfriend. Yeah, you can. You can hire a boyfriend too, right? So you can have a fake boyfriend. Yep. Yeah. But hey, wow. everybody. I